You're watching the 2018 SEC Gymnastics Championship. The top two teams separated by just 75 thousandths of a point. Arkansas retains the lead after three of four rotations. Georgia just close behind, then Missouri and Auburn, the four teams in this session. A moment ago, Laura was with Mark Cook, the head coach at Arkansas. Coach, a little extra pressure on Michaela Burton there after a fall. How did she handle it? Well, she's a gamer. I mean, just that dismount, she really tried to stick it bent over a little bit, but she didn't move. So it depends on how much they take on it. But uh, she's definitely a gamer. So I had a lot of faith in her. You just did a breathing exercise with your team, telling them to take a huge deep breath in and out. Why was that? Well, we try to reset after every, every event. Just try to calm it back down again because there's a lot of emotions when you compete. And you want to make sure you bring yourself back down to refocus on the next event. That's something I've been doing with the team. Thanks so much. Bart, deep breath. So it looks like it's going to come down to Georgia and Arkansas in this session, and it is close. Georgia did a nice job on the vault. They've been consistent all day long. Marissa Olte was good. It is so nice to see this team put together. So far, the best competition they've had all season long and really came up with some great landings when they needed it. Every tenth of a point is going to count, and they fought hard to get them. Came so close to perfection on this vault. Beautiful in the air. Perfect form and technique. Just a little shuffle back for a 9-9. And during that vault rotation, Arkansas was on the beam. Haley Gardner, a 9-9-2-5 in the second spot. Came up huge for Arkansas early in the lineup. A little extra pressure after Sarah Safer had this fall, 9.1 only. Definitely put them in a pressure situation, but Michaela Burton, what a clutch performance in the anchor spot. Exactly what they needed to keep them on top. A lot of gymnastics here this weekend in St. Louis. Session two coming up at 7 p.m. Eastern on ESPN2. The top four teams in the SEC will battle it out.